I'm Manik Hussain. I'm 30 years old. I'm working in uh, Ramada Beach Hotel, Ajman. I'm working as a health club in charge. At the hotel, I'm uh, looking the gym and uh, I'm swimming. And uh, 2015, I got a swimming instructor license. And after that, I'm giving the swimming lessons to kids also. When I grow up, then I am always interesting for the sports. I am from Bangladesh. Bangladesh is uh, Shiraz Ganj. I grew up in the village. I am helping my father and in a farm my, because my father was a farmer. I'm, every day I am going to school and uh, if I get free time, then sometimes I am going for playing football, cricket and uh, swimming. Here I playing like internally, we are always in this hotel, we are playing like football, cricket and uh, sometimes I'm going for the swimming competitions. So sometimes we're playing the beach volleyball. When my father was passed, then I was like 24 years old. He has the like a problem for the um, kidney uh, stones. I was here and that time my brother called me and uh, asked me, told me that uh, father is very serious. So then the next day I went to home and uh, I, I met my father in the hospital and uh, he was just looking and he hugged me and uh, that's it because he couldn't talk to me because this mark was there in the face. And uh, like in the evening time he was passed. Just now I miss him too much. When I completed um, grade 12, then I, I told my father, now I will go to a study in a university. So at this time, my father told, now it's uh, very difficult to manage because this is financial, it was financial problem. So that's why I decided to come here because I decided to come here, my brother and sister, they will study good. If I not come, go outside the country, if I not give money to, it was very difficult for them also. And I got the job 2008 and uh, when I came here I started start as a accommodation attendant and uh, then now as a health club in charge. It was very, very, very difficult time when I came here in uh, 2008. I was 20 years old when I came here. When I came here, I don't know how to speak the English and uh, how to talk with the people, how to communicate with people. So it was, I can say it was, it was like uh, biggest challenge in my life. Sometimes I'm keeping note on my hand. If it's a different, difficult word, I'm always note downing. And in the evening time when I finish my duty, then I'm going to my room and I open this and I'm learning slowly, slowly. Even now also I am learning English and uh, sometime I am reading the newspaper and sometime I am reading the magazine. In my family I have my mom and uh, because this brother and sister they have the separate family now and they are separate so my wife and two children. Uh, my first daughter she is uh, five and a half she is going to um, nursery. And uh, I have this uh, newborn baby. This first July, he's born. When he born, I I was not there. I'm very very excited because uh, I want to see him. And uh, this is my son. My wife is uh, a housewife, and she's working. She's taking care of my children. I'm the one the whole provider for my family. Monthly, I'm getting uh, to two thousand. I send. Uh, like 1,500 for my family. Here uh, we don't need to expend too much money because food is uh, free and uh, accommodation is free. So with the 500 I can manage myself. In the future plan I want to I want to 
become a like a businessman i planned to open this dairy farm because it was from my father and uh, that i learned from my father and it was really very good business to uh, milk produce reproducing and uh, for the meat When I was in Bangladesh, uh, the, there is three, four, five cow in my house, and my father always uh, uh, milking this, always check carrying this. Then, uh, when I was small, also I saw that one. That's the reason I decided to open the dairy farm. I married uh, 2012. Actually, my wife is my cousin. She is my uh, my mother's uh, relative. So mother, sister, daughter. When I married, she was like uh, class nine. Then uh, I, I always support her to study, and she's completed the uh, grade twelve. I paid my wife school fees. That's the reason she is also happy, and uh, she is always thankful. For me, it's very important to study my wife because uh, she must to take care of the children. If mama is not uh, educated. then it is very difficult to take care of the uh, managing the children also first school is like uh, in the family so father mother if they are educated then only children will educated more and they will understanding how they will take caring and how they will managing so that's the reason also this parents need to be educated